everybody, it's me, Kaylin. I'm using my iPad to record. So, yeah. Well, we have our conditions, of course. Start off with this one here. We have a Whirlpool 12,000 BTU. Right here, window air conditioner. This is the unit itself. Um, has a Matsushita rotary compressor. And get the Matsushita badge. Here's the top of it. Here's the bottom of it. Got the drain hole. Coils are definitely starting to corrode after like a bunch of years from now. And here we have this 1996 Friedrich Quiet Master. 12,000 BTU, it looks like. It's probably one of the later, earlier Quiet Masters. It's got a reciprocating rotary compressor. Here's the top. It's got a welding fan motor. And here's the bottom. I don't know what all of this is. Someone definitely broke the H part off of this thing. It's got no H part. Now, yeah, this is the unit. It's got a grill guard. It's got two logos, actually, which I think is kind of unfair. Yeah, that's sad. Oh, yeah, we have Quiet Master right there. We have another Quiet Master. We have a cool, some type of 12,000 BT wear over there. Okay, here we have this. 03 Frigidaire, 15,000 BTU, air conditioner in this classroom. I have no idea what room this thing is in. It, it's a Frigidaire, 15,000 BTU. It's dirty as frick, obviously. And look at these coils, man. Boy, oh boy, that's bad. So, over here, the compressor view. And it has a Matsushita rotary. Yep, I was expecting that. AHAM Cert 5. This thing was caulked at some point. They caulked the crap out of this thing. Here's the bottom. Four unit. <sighs> this is like that other O3 Frigidaire. No vents up there, of course. Here we have a York, six ton it looks like. I don't think it works. I have no idea what compressor it has. It couldn't be a Bristol. Oh yeah, here's the York. It's a York. And the logo fell off. Guess I'll be keeping it with me. Because the logo fell off. When something falls off, I'll keep it. You know. I actually don't care. It's mine. Well, hey, it's still a York. This is the unit. I don't know what that 12,000 BTU is. There's a bird's nest under that Friedrich Cool. Some animals in there. And I do see a bird's nest under that Friedrich Cool. Oh my. Well, I'm not going to disturb it. I'll just grab a rock just in case somebody's trying to hide me. Oh, that looks... No! Yeah, it's real. Okay. Another cool. I don't know what that is, actually. And here we have another Friedrich cool. 36,000 BTU. It's the, the large chassis one. This unit, I don't know what where the sign is. Man, can't even grasp it. What's the compressor? Bro, oh, I can't see. It's probably going to be a GMCC rotary compressor anyway. So, yeah. Here's the air conditioner. I love the new Friedrich logos that these things make. It's got a shiny condenser coils. Kind of weird, but, you know. Bottom, top, all that crap. Oh, yeah, for the hell of the video, here's the other side of it. These units are great, honestly. Other side, the fan motor. It's got a welling fan motor. I don't think you can see. All right. Here's this York bag. Oh yeah, this one just kicked off. It's up and running. I don't know why. Yep, it's up and running. It just kicked on, I heard it. It's on a timer. This one just turned on. Oh yeah, this thing is hot. It works. She works. She works all right. It's rattly too. I could hear it. That's the air conditioner. Anyway, I just had to show that for the hell of the video because that quiet master just kicked on. It's gonna kick off in a couple of minutes, I'm assuming. Anyway, here's the other Friedrich Cool, and there's another one. 
This is also a 36,000 BTU. It's a large chassis one as well. Also with a welling fan motor. Sorry, my thing, my thing to my iPad is like, it, come on, freaking train, shut up. Who's taking the train today? It's got a GMCC rotary compressor. Yep, got a GMCC rotary. But you guys can't see because these slats are facing this way and it's so hard to see. Because my iPad case is like so big. Oh, and it just kicked off. There's the, I can see the intake grill or the serial number and the filter and all that jazz is. There's the bottom, of course. You know, the top, and there's that one. Let's go over here where we are greeted by more air conditioners, of course. I have this GE up here. I think it's a 12,000 PQ. I don't know. I really don't. Here we are greeted by another Friedrich. Right here we're greeted by another Friedrich Quiet Master with um, something I have here. It's the logo. Love the black logos for these things. Yep. See air conditioner. Has a welling, I think. Oh, no, that's a GE fan motor. I was guessing it's a welling. That's actually a GE. I'm actually going to back up so I can give you a shot. Here's the back, you know? Most of these are large chassis. A little bit of the inside. It's got a reciprocating compressor. Reciprocating rotary, I mean. Uses a grill guard just like the other air conditioners do. And there's another quiet master. And there's that GE with a rusted base pan. It's orange. I mean, it's brown, really. That unit is like crusty dusty. And right here, it looks like we have our last quiet master. So here's our last one. This is it. And yes, it also has a GE fan motor with a reciprocating rotary compressor. Most of these have reciprocatings. I don't get it. I still hear that doggone ice cream truck. It sounds further now. Thank goodness, I was waiting for it too. God. Okay, let's go take... Oh, I didn't show the bottom and the top. Jeez. How? Bottom, top, check, boom. We did it. That's that. Oh, for this one too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forgot to do this one as well. Here's this one. Top, bottom. Oh no, I can't remember. Yep, she looks great. Some people be hating on these quiet masters though. I'm not gonna lie. That cool is in that classroom, not running at all. I don't know why the heck it's not running. Let's go see if that Quiet Master kicks on so I can give you the startup. I'm gonna wait right here for it to kick on. I'm gonna give you like a compressor view. Hopefully it doesn't kick on as soon as I get there. All right, I hope it kicks on. Will it kick on? Three, two, one. I'm actually gonna time it because I'm waiting for this thing to kick on. It's gonna kick on soon. When it kicks on, I'll end the video. So I'll just wait, probably for like a few minutes. This thing is caulked in at some point. Those are all the air conditioners at my old school Lafayette Learning Center in Morristown, New Jersey. I am waiting for this thing to kick on. This, this is gonna, it's gonna turn on. If I could catch it running earlier in that video, I know it's gonna come on. Shut up, geese. Where are they going now? Why don't we clean it off a little bit? I don't know when they're gonna slide this thing out to clean it. Waiting to hear this. Bro, the moon is already out. Holy crap. The moon is already out. What the crap is happening? I hope it kicks on, man. It has got to kick on. I'm not gonna put you like right to the compressor cause you know, it's gonna scare you. Is it warm enough? 
trust me, that back was getting warm, so this thing works for sure. It's a grill guard. All these quiet masters use the grill guard. All of them. Same with these frigidators. Not that 03 one over there by that York unit. Bro, is it gonna kick on now? Sorry if I'm like rushing the air conditioner. I don't know when it's gonna kick on. Is that speaker up there on? Come on, come on already, kick on. I've been waiting for like three minutes now and still didn't kick on. Someone has, someone must have started it, someone must have had to start this thing up. And then they turned it off because it was too cold. This is the main office. Both of these air conditioners do the main office. Still waiting for that compressor to come on. Waiting for the air conditioner to turn on. Should come on. In about three, two, one, zero. All right, I don't. Okay. Okay, it doesn't work. Uh, it does work still. I mean, it gets pretty. It gets ice cold pretty much. It does get ice cold. Waiting for it to kick on. It does never take this long to kick on. All right, I'm gonna end the video.